Hello everybody, it's me Andrew Duthie yet again and in this video I'll be reviewing the Night Fox Cape Digital Night Vision Binoculars. But first, let's do the unboxing shall we? The Night Fox Cape was delivered to me from Amazon in a featureless white cardboard box with the words Cape on it. Within that contains the real packaging, which is brightly coloured, professionally made, and contains instructions on the back side. Opening that up reveals a small handy carry bag containing the device itself as well as its wires, instruction manuals and coupons, the GoPro style head mount, and also a camera strap that you can go and fit on the actual night vision device. Moving on to the carrying bag itself, it has a handle, it's zip up, and it's pretty well made and will protect your device just fine. Inside it though, we first have a spare IR filter. This is in addition to the existing IR filter already on the IR illuminator. Next is a standard micro USB charging cable. And last, but certainly not least, the Night Fox Cape digital night vision device itself. So first things first, what is it? The Night Fox Cape is a Gen 1 equivalent digital night vision binocular that also has the option to be head mounted. Now I emphasize the Gen 1 aspect of this as unlike Gen 2 and 3 night vision which only needs ambient light to function, Gen 1 night vision still needs an active IR light source to work. Externally, the Night Fox Cape features a lightweight polymer exterior with a smooth rubberized finish. The top of the cape has a variety of buttons to control system functionality. These include the zoom button for zooming in, the mode button to access the menu, the power button, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the IR button also controls the brightness of the IR illuminator, the recording button, for recording and also the LCD button to adjust the brightness of the LCD screen. The GoPro compatible head mount is simple and functional. Just slide it along the groove and then screw it in and you can go and use any GoPro accessory that can fit. Flip open the rubber pad at the top of the Night Fox cape and you'll be able to find the micro SD card slot and a micro USB port to store your recordings and transfer them onto your PC. Underneath the cape you can find the tripod mount and battery storage. The mount is a simple screw-in mount and allows for the installation of various tripod accessories. And the cape fits four AA batteries, two on each side. Though I must note that one of the compartments couldn't be accessed by hand and I had to sort of pry it open with a coin. Also, it's important that you keep the extraction ribbon extended when you have the battery in, so you can simply pull it out and extract both batteries at once if you need to. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, how this actually performs. The cape's digital sensor has a resolution of 960 by 720 at 25 FPS, with a viewing angle of 34 degrees, which is not ideal, but it's not unworkable either and you can perform most basic tasks after spending some time getting used to it. The IR Illuminator has seven brightness settings, which need to be manually cycled through by pressing the IR button to get to your desired brightness. I found the number of settings to be a bit much, mainly because there was only really a marginal difference in brightness between the lowest and highest setting shown here. This is likely to be problematic for airsofters who would need to quickly switch on and off their IR signature in order to avoid detection from other NVG users. So I do recommend that airsofters get their own separate IR weapon light with a pressure switch in order to circumvent the shortcoming. The cape also features a two times digital zoom. However, I found it to be next to useless due to the poor image quality. In fact, I actually think the zoom button could have better been served as a dedicated IR on off button instead. On the other hand, I found the cape's recording function to be fantastic, not only for being simple, easy to use and resulting in a good video quality, but also down to the fact that it would have made this video far more difficult to make if it didn't exist. <laughs> 
The big downside, however, is that the Night Fox Cape does not record audio. So if you want audio, you're going to have to record that separately and sync it up in post. The cape also stacks up very well against Gen 1 analog night vision devices, such as my old Yukon over here. As you can see over here, the cape's image does not suffer from any vignetting, and the depth of field is far more permissible for a wider range of ranges. The main downside though is, yet again, the 25 FPS. The screen of the cape is nice, bright and clear, and you can choose from six different brightness options to suit for yourself. Furthermore, thanks to the relatively large size of the cape's body, the screen is situated at a significant enough distance from your eyes to essentially eliminate most forms of eye strain. The hood around the LCD screen though leaves a bit to be desired. It's made of relatively hard wearing rubber and also the nasal indent is practically nothing. For those with large noses like me, it actually makes wearing the cape quite uncomfortable. It's for this reason why I recommend that users get a GoPro compatible extension arm to relieve the pressure on your nose, but also install counterweights to the back of your head mounted device to balance the weight out on your head. And now for the real reason why I bought this device, the price. The Night Fox Cape comes at an extremely affordable £140. For a Gen 1 wearable NVG with an illuminator and recording functionality, I have not actually been able to find another device cheaper than this one. In fact, all other equivalents I found either cannot record but can mount to the head, or can record but have no helmet mounting options. And that's not even going to the traditional analog night vision for military surplus sites, which are far more expensive than this could ever be. Now, this isn't to say that the cape is anywhere close to being as capable as contemporary military grey night vision. But the price disparity between the cape and even the cheapest analog Gen 1 NVGs is still pretty significant considering they're pretty equivalent in terms of performance. In the end, if you're an already experienced night vision user, nothing the cape offers is really going to impress you. What it does do though, is lower the barrier of entry for newer users by offering um, a compact, functional and well-designed device for an unparalleledly affordable price. You know, I've not, I still have not been able to find something that offers this level of design and functionality for £140 flat. And frankly, I, that can only be a good thing. Frankly, for general non-military outdoor use, such as hunting, hiking, or even low-end airsoft games, the Cape is a fantastic tool for new users to get in the game and then start a pretty dark path of probably spending incredible amounts of money on future devices. But in the end, that's for you, that's for you to decide. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this review as much as I did making it. Um, like and subscribe if you have some, if you want some more. And as always, have a nice day.